Oh no. and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I just got back from a crazy surf strike mission to one of the best waves in the world, cloud break. It was a very fine line between getting the wave of your life and the absolute beating of your life. This video is a raw view of what it's really like to get caught inside all day long at pumping overloading cloud break. So hit the like button and enjoy the show. <laughs> all right, it's time. Sun is rising, everyone's all psyched up. Got my sunscreen and my rash guard on. This is the morning. If it's gonna be firing, it's gonna be now. Um, got a good night of sleep, woke up, 4.30, did a little 15 minute Joe Dispenza gratitation, gratitation? Did a 15 minute gratitude and uh, meditation. Feeling ready to go. I'm not gonna overthink it. It is what it is. Then get out there, get absolutely tubed. I feel like yesterday was a mental warm up, get to know the reef again. Um, and now we get tubed. Now we get absolutely tubed. Got some dynamic snow angels going on. <laughs> <laughs> dynamic snow angels. <laughs> this is how you do it, guys. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. What are those circle hits? Oh my god. <laughs> All the blood that hurts so bad. <laughs> right here. Wow. <laughs> this is some yin and yang right here, huh? <laughs> Stiff non morning. 4 a.m. hype machine. <laughs> I'm not a morning person. <laughs> Loaded to the gills. That other boat we could have hey, squeezed a couple guys on. <laughs> I'm gonna go just test it out, make sure it's okay out there for everyone. Oh my god. Definitely a bit nervous right now. It's a little shaky. Trust the unknown. Monster number two takes us. Bombia gone. All right, now we gotta find my Bombia. Come on, baby, where you at? I saw the leash. Oh, 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 Alright, changing to 6-3, there's a lot of water moving out there. Bonnet. Reminds me of second reef pipe. You okay, Gab? Because we were all tangled, like... Shit. Pins to the face on that thing. Let's see an instant replay. You excited? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm already having the time of my life, dude. I'm already tired. It's like 7 a.m. I missed the best lady's ever seen in his life. 
Philly fell on one of the best waves I've seen today. That's a good start. At least they're rolling in. No, they're getting better. <sighs> it's pretty similar to second reef wash through pipeline right now. In betweeners, you could probably get the wave of your life if you're in the right place at the right time. And, and you also gotta go. You also gotta go on that way. You gotta go if you wanna <laughs> get the wave. You gotta go. You know, go like paddle, go down it, pull in, pump. Pumping out here. Cloud break is probably the best wave in the world, but one of the hardest waves to learn and read. It's all about coming here and putting time in on the reef because the best waves, a lot of the time, look like the scariest and worst waves. <laughs> Good little closeouts. <laughs> Pretty much just got it going on one of those. It's so crazy because it looks so doubled up. I'm realizing like, I got really want that wave. It appears. Just gotta meet the intention head on. Get past all that bullshit. Overthinking flow. It's a very fine line right now. Between getting the wave of your life and getting a complete close out. My leash came undone. came off. I don't know how I survived that one. Yeah. Time to make moves. This video is shot on a DJI action cam. Action 3. Pretty freaking crazy how good the quality is on these little cameras. My favorite thing about it is the rock steady mode. I can be going over foam balls, doing all sorts of crazy shit. Oh, go buddy! And it stays steady so you can enjoy watching it. Oh! Yeah, it was a fun drop, but it's crazy how it could be way deeper. Oh, my legs are getting noodly. I mean, my arms are getting noodly. Oh, no. Aim to the rescue, baby. Okay, good. Good, good. Holy shit. Huge clean out that. Hey, Muda. That's the bomb set. I go on the first one, take the other ones on the head. So it's not really the first wave or second wave, but when, they, when it pushes you in, then you kind of get to that first reef, and then that's where you kind of get the crazy wave to the head. Um, the inside section is called shish kebab. No more explanation needed. We're out here, everyone got washed in. I'm alone out here. Look at in the hunting grounds. <laughs> I imagine those waves 
Abs are good. Abs. I'm going in! I'm going! Maybe a water break. That's, that's probably a good sign. Water break. Oh my god. That guy. Jack, what do you think about the swell? I'm thinking it's pretty Vinaka. Pretty Bula Vinaka? Bula. Live from the channel. I have more sunscreen on my face now. I'm good to go. Yeah. Hey, bom dia. Round two. Bom dia, everyone. Chaka Vanaka. Bom dia. This little baby right here is what I shot all my POV action from this video. This is a DJI Osmo Action 3. One of my favorite features includes this magnetic clip-on mount. From here, you can attach this to your surfboard. I like to put a bite mount on it to get that POV perspective. Also the rock steady feature on this freaking camera is crazy. I can be on a wave going over some crazy bumps or on a motorbike on a really rough road and it makes it so smooth it feels like you're looking at it through your own eyes. Now I'm someone who gets lightly seasick in motion sickness so if my camera isn't completely steady I just can't use it. This little guy is making me psyched to create more videos. After going to the boat and reanalyzing, I've seen that these bigger waves that we're just getting caught inside on super deep, you can actually chip into, reform into the shish kebab section. So, applying new tactics, and we'll see how we go. Shish kebab. Some waves look like closeouts, and then they're actually really good, and other waves look like closeouts, and then they are closeouts. So, what are you supposed to do? Come on, we gotta harvest one. Looks like we have a red jelly. Beep, 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 beep. Could be a little sketch. I don't know. I couldn't see if there's tentacles. Are there tentacles?
Yeah, my arms are cramping. Gotta go rest. Wait for the tide to switch. I'm in Fiji. Holy shit. I don't know how many more washer sets I can handle. My arms are all noodly and cramping. The waves are so good. There's potentially a windsurfing contest that will start in about two hours, so we're trying to just milk it as much as we can. I'm gonna sit on this outer ledge. I only have a 6'3. Not the best. Uh, let's see what we can harvest out here. I saw some bar waves barely top to bottom like freaking Himalayan. Rex Jeter Jeter. Oh, I'm already cramping. Alright, one more little try before the wind gets on it. We gotta get one barrel. One sicker. Sure to try. Right there, Shea Bula, baby. Local knowledge. That was crazy. That was a pretty one. There's pretty ones out here still. This fucking gnarly. It's crazy because you come for the swell and then you're like, oh my gosh, like trying to feel it out, feel it out, and the next thing you know, the swell's over. You kind of miss those opportunities. That's surfing so weird, like you gotta stay so sharp, so present. How do you stay ready? It's so crazy. That's just where I think adds to the obsession and addiction of surfing because you were like, you know, now you, now you have this experience at Cloud Break. Next swell, like, you'll be that much more comfortable. Sometimes it's like years. So freaking crazy. Look at that one. That's it for me. That's all I got. Try to leave some in the tank just in case it gets even better later.